Hey, Joseph, thanks so much for your time today. Um, as you know, I'm new to the Yocto community and I'm also part of a recent wave of energy and excitement of, of new developers coming into the project. Um, and lately I've been working with a bunch of these new developers who are really interested in embedded systems. And today I'm on the call with my friend, Joss Skirret, um, who is a project administrator for the Linux Foundation's Community Bridge Mentorship Program. And he's also a research technical writer with the Chaos Project. Hi, Joseph. Thank you so much for your time today. I've been working with many students around and they find themselves pumping up the same questions. So what Tia said, like she often sees from the professional developers encountering Yocto for the first time. So I reached out to her to seek some help and she recommended to speak, like we should speak to you. So Joseph, I know that when I was uh, brand new to the project, you were incredibly generous with teaching me some of the foundational concepts of Yocto. And so in the spirit of, of learning and sharing some of those things that you taught me, um, I wanted to ask on behalf of some of these other new developers, um, could you explain a bit, little bit more about what the concept of a layer is in the Yocto project? Hey, Thea. Glad you asked, that's really an excellent question. You know, layers are the primary means of organizing whatever you do when working with the Yocto project, including uh, your, all your recipes, custom images, and also distro and machine configurations. And so here's how, to, here, here's how to create your very first custom layer. First, as usual, enter the build. And then we've got a super convenient tool already prepared for you. That goes by the name Bitbag Layers, and it supports the command create layer. And I'm going to call it Metathea. I'm going to locate it right next to the build and also to Pocky. Now it runs off, hopefully creates the layer. Let's see if we can have a peek inside the layer just to see what's already present there. Hopefully. Uh, it also creates um, a custom uh, or a simple example recipe that you can refer to for uh, getting started. And then we're going to add it uh, to our build once we've looked into it. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Recipes example. Here's already everything you you need to see. And adding it to the build is super easy. You can use the same command again. Bitbag add layer. And you give it the path again. And that's it. You've just created and enabled your first custom layer. 